Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Wednesday, July 24, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Proverbs chapter 7, reading from verse 1 to 5. And it says, My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandments and live and my law as the apple of thine eye. Bind them up on thy fingers, write them upon the table of thine heart. Say unto wisdom, Thou art my sister, and call understanding thy king's woman, that they may keep thee from the strange woman, from the stranger with flatter it with her words. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his word. And here Solomon is giving guidance and advice as it relates to adultery. So he's saying this morning that we must keep God's commandments with us at all times. And we must keep them as a reminder to help us to stand against those things that are not right and in particularly this case adultery now what did the commandment say about adultery it says thou shall not commit adultery and the commandment is only one of several verses in the scripture that give us guidance against that issue and so, if we keep the commandments with us, and if we keep them at all times at the forefront of our minds, then we won't violate them, and then we won't find ourselves doing, doing the very things that the commandments warn us against. No, it's so that we need to bind them on our fingers we need to keep them always at our fingertips and we need to write them on the tables of our heart we need to always keep them in remembrance so when we wake up in the morning when we go to our bed at night the commandments of God and the Word of God must always resonates with us when we keep them we will save ourselves a world of heartache and pain, right? And it tells us that we need to appreciate wisdom and we need to be wise. It says, call wisdom your sister and your kinswoman. It means that you, you must see it as something special to us something that we value and if it is something that we value it therefore means that we'll take special care to always have it close to us and to protect it because what it is a priceless and valuable possession and this same wisdom when we apply it when we keep it close to us then when the strange woman come and when the strangers come, and it's speaking about the woman here, and it, it could apply to either woman or man. So when that person come to try to seduce you, to break your marital vow or to become unfaithful, you will remind them of that same commandment that says, Thou shall not commit adultery. But think about it. If you don't have the commandment of God with you and if you don't know it, then you might be more inclined to commit adultery because you, don't, you would not have had that previous knowledge that it is wrong to do so. But now that you have been given that knowledge, now that we know what is right, then we won't allow ourselves to be seduced by the strange woman or by any woman or by any man 
but we will remain committed to our marital vow and committed to God. And I will even take it a bit further because there can also be a spiritual um, context here too in the sense that remember in a lot of cases when the Bible speaks about woman it also refers to a church correct no for those who are following the commandments of God those who are a part of God band if when you are seduced by others falsely or another woman meaning another church falsely then because you know the truth and the commandments of God and the truth according to the word of God you won't allow yourself to be seduced by the enticing words and you know the, the sweet words but you will keep the dust say the Lord always before you so you can take away two lessons from this the bottom line is that the commandments of God are there to protect us to give us guidance against falsehood and against deception and so let us apply them as Solomon often say apply ourselves unto wisdom and so this morning I encourage all of us that we will by the guidance of the Holy Spirit avoid these things so that we will not find ourselves in situation that we will have to answer to God for the wrongs that we have done. May God continue to bless us and may God continue to guide us. In Jesus' name, amen.